Hey guys, it's Danielle back with another review. As you can see, this uh, haul slash review is going to be a mixed haul slash review. As you can see, I have Bath New Miter Works and I also have a uh, Candy Panda haul from the March restock. Uh, so what I'm going to do, what I always do is go over my um, products that I've, I've already used um, since the last time I was on here. Uh, so the first one is Good Night Moon, and this was actually from a D stash that I brought from a lady in a Facebook group that I'm a part of. Uh, lavender scent, very good scent. Uh, I have lemongrass, which I think with Candy Panda, anything with lemon is the prominent note, and it is so strong. Uh, then I have Lights On. This was kind of like a sweet scent to me. And then Island in the Sun, which is like a mango uh, mixture scent. And that was good as well. I also had Pistachio Pudding Cake. Is this going to focus? And this is from the February um, restock order that I did directly from Candy Panda. As you can tell, this is old and this is new. <laughs> the new um, wax melts come in tubes like this instead of the regular like to go saucers or whatever. Um, and then I think I got Hutting for wish wi ooh, Witches in the last D stats. Oh, the last D stats. In the last February haul. I'm not too sure if it's if this is one of the March ones that I got but this is a really good it's pistachio in here too as well then I have cherry fizz pop hand soap now this is uh, from the February uh, restock uh, this is bomb it smells like fruit punch even though it's cherry fizz pop but it tastes just like fruit punch it's the Marcino cherries, what I like to call the fake cherries, <laughs> that comes in the, uh, like your Sundays and covered in syrup. And then it's Pop Rocks candy. And it lathers up so good and it smells like, my boyfriend was telling me that so it smells so good I want to drink it. And it's true. It's bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. And then this Velvet Choker is also from the February D stash, as you can see. I've been digging into it. It smells so good. It lathers up. It scrubs, scrubs, scrubs. My skin feels so soft. This is amazing stuff. And then this is, even though this is not um, from any group or I guess you can say store, I did get this Caress uh, Sour Foam. It is Moonlight Iris and Vanilla Bean. It smells like old lady perfume to me. <laughs> I am not a fan of it. Caress usually has some good scents, but this was, like I said, it smells like old lady perfume to me. It's not good at all. My preference. But it does lather up really well. I think it was kind of expensive. It was like $6. Maybe $7. i am really, really cheap. But it is one of their new products. They only have um, two scents. And uh, this line, I think the other uh, scent is Japanese Blossom, which is what I should have did. But me trying to be different, it's like, hey, go with this Midnight Iris and Vanilla Bean. And I smell like somebody's grandmother. So I do that. I do not like it at all. But let's get into this Bath & Body Works haul. Um, this was from their buy one, get one free or buy one, get one 50% off. So I decided to go there and get the candles because they're the three with candles. Uh, the White Barn brand or the Bath & Body Works line, it doesn't matter. They were all buy one, get one free. So like I have to go because that's good for the three with candles. So I've already burned <laughs> this one. Uh, this is almond uh, made with essential oil. So it's it's got a very vanilla scent. It lasted very long. Best way I can describe it is like um, almond milk. You know, almond milk has vanilla, almond, some have honey in it. 
but it smells really really good I like this black glass it's so pretty I also I went to Bath and Body Works they also have it now where um, you can buy uh, covers to go on top of the on the candle top and they have cute ones that say happy birthday or queen of the castle and uh, have your um, zodiac sign this is so cute it took everything in me not to go ahead and buy a magnet to put on top of my candle like I really don't need that uh, but this is also uh, another candle I got I got six candles in all this is pineapple sunrise and it's mint green I don't know whenever I think of pineapple I think of yellow maybe orange depending on what it's mixed with but as you can see I already burned this one as well you know with Bath and Byron's candles you just cannot wait like I'm so excited pretty standard clear case this smells like cologne to me it smells really good yeah it smells just like um cologne to me but not too strong of a cologne uh like a nice i don't want to say manly scent but well it is cologne excuse me i'll have to drink a glass of water but it has a really 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 nice scent to it as well so that that'd be a nice candle that you can actually get like one of your male friends little brother cousin because it's not girly at all it smells like cologne to me then i have blue ocean waves i wish is there a scent description that i can find like maybe online because i wish they i want to know what <laughs> what notes aren't in here and this is very flowery this smells good so it's white wax have not melted it yet plain clear glass container is it on the bottom uh oh my goodness okay so it's beach breezes citrus sea spray island flowers i got that sun drenched woods i got that too with the sense of oils Yeah, I smell the flowers in it. It's, it smells good. So let's go with this one. This one, this is the Pineapple Sunrise. Juicy Island Pineapple. Crisp, crisp Persian Lime. Warm Coconut Musk with essential oils. That musk is what I'm smelling. That That's that manly scent that I'm smelling. So what was on the bottom of the almond? Made with almond and sandalwood and essential oils. So I bet that's just ain't nothing uh, but almond milk and essential oils mixed up together. You ain't tricking us. Bath and Body Works. Next one I have is Ocean Drift Wood. Plain top. And this is yellow. It's like a like a baby yellow, like a powder yellow. Um, this one is beachside oak sea washed mahogany ocean lavender with essential oils this smells like cologne too so i bet it's that mahogany that i'm smelling oh yeah this smells like the bath and body works low so i brought my boyfriend so this um right here this ocean driftwood you can add that with the pineapple sunrise as a candle that you can gift a male or uh, anyone that loves more manly fragrances because this is a manly scent as well very pretty yellow so they say essential oil I wonder if you can like massage with these you know they have like massage candles and stuff I wonder if you can massage with these this is rose water and ivy now when I got this one of course the uh, the container is what got me but it's like oh let me smell it and it smells so bomb I put it in my basket it's soft rose petals rain kissed ivy spring musk with essential oils I got a lot of 
this smells good now the musk is it's a slight hint of it could be a male but it that rose it kicks kicks ass you can't even smell it it's very yeah, I could see it for the girl that wants a girly scent but not too strong oh, it smells like clean like is it clean lavender in here it smells like um probably that rain kissed ivy it smells kind of like laundry detergent mmm that smells wonderful and then I have my last candle I'm gonna put these other candles oh no I don't want to break it these other candles up okay the last candle is candle that I've already burned is Fiji White Sands and it is fresh cut sugarcane, white nectarine, and sandalwood. Regular colored uh, wax. Oh, this is strong. This smells like cocoa butter. And cocoa butter is nowhere in there, but it smells, it smells like hair grease. <laughs> to be but it smells really really good it's got a nice vanilla scent i don't smell the next around i don't smell anything but um those are the candles i got so crazy story is the same day that this sale was going on was the same day that the uh restock sale for candy panda was going on and what i told myself was that since the sale starts 7 p.m central time i don't get off work until 6 30 of course i'm not gonna attempt to um drive and do the sale so i said instead of going to candy panda i'm just i mean instead of buying from candy panda i'm just gonna get the stuff from bath and body works and that will suffice so i go to bath and body works i order the candles i mean i, mean, I buy the candles i go back to my car I look at the time and it's like it's 650 and I was like I can do the candy panda sale and I literally sat in my car I was like Danielle you told yourself that you weren't going to do it because you were going to buy candles from Bathy Body Works you brought the candles from Bathy Body Works and I still sat there in the parking lot and ordered candy panda from my phone but I told myself I wasn't going to order like I really wanted to order so I just got some wax melts and one hand soap that I'm going to show to you excuse me I'll have to drink water this is from the March restock so that's the most recent one let me get my list together but I was just like I am no good. I am no good. I told myself, don't buy anything from Candy Panda since you're buying it from uh, Bath and Body Works. And what did I do? I sat right there in that parking lot <laughs> and made my order. I was like, Lord, I can't keep a promise to myself. So I'm first going to go into the. I'm going to do the hand soap. This is Day of the Dead hand soap. It's sweet zest of fruit. Is that pastilles and fresh lime slices? I got this because of the name, of course. It's a pretty orange. It smells so good. You can smell that lime, which reminds me of a margarita. I don't know if that's good or bad. That lime reminds me of not key lime pie or just a lime. <laughs> it reminds me of a margarita. Um, it I can't wait. I feel like it's gonna be strong because all the other lotions I've had, which is uh, of course the Cherry Fizz Pop, and then I had a blue one, and those two that I used in the past have been strong like Bath and Body Works hand lotion, strong. So I can't wait to use this because this is gonna be strong as well. I just know it, and then. Let's get into the wax melt. So the first wax melt that I've got that I've already melted 
is corn pudding, cornbread pudding. Let me scoot over here, y'all. And I got this one because of the name. I'm a Texas girl, if y'all do not know. Because I've been saying y'all all this time. It is a yellow wax. Honest truth, does not smell like corn pudding to me. Well, it's cornbread pudding. So that could be. Uh, but it's cornbread and zucchini bread pudding. That's probably why. Because down here, when my grandma makes corn pudding, she's not putting any zucchini in it it's corn cream um and we just bake it so it's not cornbread pudding either maybe that's why it's not smelling like corn to me because that zucchini is in there but it is just as fine the next one i got is spring and by summer fall I don't know if you can see that. And I've already melted that as well. It is a... Let me get into this. It's a pretty blue color. Real, real pretty. It is creamy vanilla, coconut, strawberries, plus jasmine and cedar wood. It is a teal. Well, not a teal. Like a turquoise blue. Smells wonderful. Smells like gain to me. And I smell that strawberries because it smells kind of like candy. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So I got that. And I got Tide Pods. Uh, because uh, why not? Tide is like the best scent. Also with gain products. But Tide is, it's Tide. Tide smells so wonderful. So that is, give me one second. I'm pretty sure it's just going to say Tide. Give me one second. I can't find anything. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, so Tide Pods. Iconic floor blend of fresh, clean seats. Inspired by the original Tide scent. And it is orange. Smells wonderful. Smells like Tide. Wish I can wash my clothes in it. Next one I have is Sigh of Relief. Let me get into that. It is a pretty, I don't say like a dark blush or maroon. Is that what they call this? Maroon? Sigh of Relief. I feel like it's going to have like lavender in it. Because it's supposed to give you relief. Let me smell it. Mmm. I bet it's got like this vanilla. Probably zucchini something in here too, I bet. Let me look into this. Does that have a soul sister? Mm, okay. Yep, right on the money. Cinnamon glazed donuts, zucchini bread, I said that, and marshmallow wing, which is their toasted marshmallow. It smells good. Look at me, getting these scents all together and everything. Just amazing. Oh, that's my phone, y'all. That is my cellular phone. Okay, what else do I have here? Cornbread pudding, Tide Pods, Cornbread pudding. Okay. So, of course, I had some samples, but I already melted the, those. Uh, I have Don't Dream It's Over, and that came as a sample or a extra uh, with, the, with my March order. Uh, let me see. Don't dream it's over, but it's got lavender in it. They have so many scents, it's ridiculous. Okay, don't dream it's over, lavender. 
and marshmallow wing, which is their toasted marshmallows. And then I have, bam, tea and cakes. Tea and cakes is, I know it's Earl T. Earl, can you hear that Texas in me, that country? Earl, that hard R. Lord, tea and cakes. I mean, it's like 50 million cents. I don't know how people choose, like after each order, we can choose or vote on what we would like to see in the next order, but there's like, there's so many doggone stuff to choose from. How do you decide? I don't know, that's why I don't even like, whenever they do it, I just pick a random scent. Cause like I'm new to this, I think I just started ordering. This is my second order, so the February and March. So I'm still new to this. Oh my god. Tea and cakes, y'all. Okay. Fluffy, moist, almond pastry soaked in fresh blue brewed black tea. Also it's black tea. Uh, when I melted that one, I did smell the almond. I love almond scents. Anything. So that is my Bath and Body Works slash Candy Panda haul. I'm so sorry, y'all, because I like I bought this stuff in March. <laughs> so I finally got around to doing the haul. I did order from Old Crooked uh, Trails, or no, it's Old Crooked Tails, which is another indie wax milk group. Uh, but she does hers made um, to order. Uh, so you tell her what you want which well, she has a restock date everybody orders and then she makes the stuff and sends and sends it out which is good because you're guaranteed to get it but the turnaround time is like six weeks <laughs> which is ridiculous versus with candy panda uh they make a certain amount of stuff uh you order it and you're lucky enough if nothing falls out of your basket and you get it like within a week so it's kind of like there's a loss either way, but I can't wait for uh, that old crooked uh, tail to get in so I can finally smell. I've been hearing a lot of stuff about that group. Uh, Candy Panda is also doing another um, made to order. I think I'm going to participate in that because it's like separated into like categories. Like ones like rain or something and you're going to have all scents that deal with that particular category. So I want to participate in that because I've seen a lot of good reviews from the last one that they did. Uh, so I'm just going to cut this haul short. Please subscribe. Look out for my other videos. And thank you so much. Y'all have a good night.